Hello, in this lecture I will give you a proof to the Pythagorean theorem. Actually, Pythagorean theorem relates to a right triangle like this that you see in the picture and uh, it claims that the sum of the hypotenuse, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. So C square is equal to A square plus B square. Okay. Actually, in order to prove uh, the theorem, we copied this triangle to here. We did it actually by uh, by bending uh, the side A on side B. Okay. B and A are in on the same line and then we raised a perpendicular to side A in size of B. Okay, so the angle between side A and side B in the left triangle is equal to 90 degrees. So we have here two triangles that equals in two sides. Side A in the right triangle, triangle is equal to side A in the left triangle, and side B in the right triangle is equal to side B in the left triangle, and also the an angle between side A and side B in the right triangles is equal to the angle uh, between side A and side B in the left triangle and it, they are actually equal to 90 degrees. Here it is because uh, it is a right and, uh, and uh, triangle so the angle that is equal to 90 degrees is the angle between side A and side, side B and in the left triangle triangle uh, actually we build side B as a perpendicular as a perpendicular to side A so here we have 90 degrees so uh, because of the fact that we have two triangles that are equal in two sides and in the angle between the, those two sides we can deduce that those two triangles are coincides to each other okay so for that reason uh, if, for example, the angle between side A and side C is alpha, we will name it as alpha. Uh, the same thing will be with the angle between side A and side C in the left triangle, it is also alpha because those triangles are coincides to each other. And uh, we know also that uh, in every triangle, the sum of its uh, three angles is 
equal to 190 degrees. For that reason, if we look at this triangle, at the right triangle, we can say that uh, alpha plus 90 plus this angle equals to 180 degrees. So we name the angle between side B and side C in the right triangle as X. Okay? So we can say that alpha plus 90 plus X equals to 180 degrees. Okay? Alpha plus 90 degrees plus X equals to 190 degrees. As you can see here, alpha plus 90 degrees plus X X the unknown uh, angle between side B and side C. So the sum of the three angles equals to 180 degrees. So we can deduce 90 degrees from both sides of the equation. And then we will get that alpha plus x equals to 90 degrees. Okay. Alpha plus x equals to 90 degrees. And then we can subtract alpha from both sides of the equation. And we will get that x equals to 90 degrees minus alpha. Okay? We subtracted alpha from both sides of the equation and we got that x equals to 90 degrees minus alpha. So we can write here that the angle between side C and side B in the right angle equals to 90 minus alpha. Okay. Now we know that the sum of the angles in the right, uh, in a straight line is always, if you look only from one side of the line, the sum of the angles is always 100 degrees. So x plus this angle plus alpha is equal to 190 degrees. So we will label the angle between side C in the right triangle to the side C in the left uh, triangle. We will label the angle as angle Y that is unknown. So, the sum of the angles from one side of the line BA equals to 180 degrees. So, we can write that X plus Y, of course, if you take the two sides of the uh, 
straight line it always will be 360 degrees but if you look only on one side of the straight line it is 180 degrees so x plus y plus alpha equals to 180 degrees okay if you relate to the straight line BA uh, we can say that X plus Y plus alpha equals to 180 degrees then we know that X equals to 90 minus alpha so we will substitute x in 90 minus alpha so 90 minus alpha plus alpha equals 180 degrees minus alpha plus alpha equals to zero so we will write it 90 plus y equals to 100 degrees so we got that 90 degrees plus y equals to 100 degrees now we will subtract 90 degrees from both sides of the equation and we will get that y equals to 90 degrees okay We subtracted 90 degrees from both sides of this equation and we got that y equals to 90 degrees so actually the middle triangle is a right triangle with 90 degrees so the angle between side C in the right angle to side C in the left angle is 90 degrees okay now we have here a trapeze and we will calculate the area of this trapeze in two ways and then we will compare the results of course they are equal to each other because it is, uh, it is the same trapeze and from that uh, comparison we will get the Pythagorean theorem a proof that a square plus b square equals to c square or the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars okay so we can say that the area of this trapeze uh, equals we will mark the area as uh, the letter S S the first way of the calculation is S equals to the sum of the parallel sides A is parallel to B and for that reason the area is A plus B times the height of the trapeze that is also A plus B divided by 2 
Okay, so we calculated the area of the trapeze in the first way. It equals to A times B, uh, A plus B times A plus B divided by 2. Now we we'll calculate the area of this trapeze in a second way. We can say that the area of this trapeze equals to the area of its components or the area of the trapeze equals to the air, to the sum of the areas of the three triangles the right triangle the middle triangle and the left triangle so we will calculate now the area of the right triangle. The area of the right triangle equals to the base of the triangle times the height of this base divided by 2. So the base of the right triangle is B. The height of the uh, to the base of the triangle is A we divided by 2 so the area of the right triangle is B times A divided by 2 now the area of the middle triangle is the base of the triangle times the height of the base so the area of the middle triangle is C times C divided by 2. And the area of the left triangle is the base of the triangle times the height to this base divided by 2. So the base of the triangle is A times the height to this base is B divided by 2. So in total we got that the area of the trapeze is the sum of the areas of the three triangles that the trapeze contains. So the area of the trapeze is the actually the area of the right trapeze that is B times A divided by 2 plus the area of the middle triangle that is C times C divided by 2 and uh, the area of the left triangle is A times B divided by 2. Okay, now we know that expression B is equal to expression A because it is the same trapeze. So we will compare the result uh, uh, expression A to expression 2. Expression 1 to expression 2. The area of the trapeze in the first calculation is A plus B times A plus B divided by 2 and the area of the trapeze when we calculated it in the second way is equals to B times A divided by 2 plus C squared divided by 2 plus a times B divided by 2. Okay. The area of the trapeze, when we calculated it in the first way, equals to the area of the trapeze when we calculated it in the second way. So, we can say that AB plus AB equals to 2AB.
okay? A, B, B, A plus A, B is 2 A, B. Divided, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we got here So here 2 divided by 2 is 1, so here we got a times b plus c squared divided by 2. Now we will multiply the two sides of the equation by 2. So here we didn't, uh, we multiplied it by 2, so we got a plus b times a plus b, and uh, ab times 2 is 2ab, and c squared divided by 2 equals to c squared. Now we will open the brackets in the left side of the equation. A times A is A square, A times B is AB, B times A is BA, and uh, B times B is B square, is equal to 2AB plus C square. So, here AB plus BA is 2AB, So we got that a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to 2ab plus c square. Now we will deduct from the two sides of the equation the expression 2ab. So, after we deducted the expression 2ab from both sides of the equation, we got that a squared plus b squared equals to c squared, and that is exactly what we uh, requested to prove that the, actually uh, the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. Okay, so that is the proof to the Pythagorean theorem. I repeat it and it says that 
in every right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. C square equals to A square plus B square. Okay, so that is, uh, that is exactly what we wanted to prove and I hope that you enjoyed this lecture and you actually understood it. Thank you very much.